Hey guys, so there is a roster move and to you it might be obvious, to me it's obvious. There is a move that the Yankees have to make for the opening day roster. They have to make this move because quite frankly, if you don't make this move, what the heck, what kind of message are you sending to your fan base? You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, if you love the Yankees and you're not subscribed, but you want to be kept up to date with the latest in Yankees news, rumors, speculation, or just plain old discussion, hit that subscribe button. And thank you for those who do support the channel. It means a lot. So what roster move am I talking about that the Yankees need to make? That's promoting Mr. Anthony Volpe to the major league roster and having him on the team. By opening day. What else does Mr. Volpe have to do in order to earn a spot on the team? Prior to spring training, the Yankees mentioned, hey, he could potentially make the team. It just depends how he does, but this could be his job. Well, how is he doing? He's hitting the heck out of the ball with over 1,000 OPS. I believe at one point was 1,100. He has a couple of home runs. He's playing shortstop. He's playing second base. The kid's performing. He's doing exactly what you want him to do. So now do him good. Do good by him and promote him to the major league roster. Put him on your opening day roster. This is what Mr. Hal Steinbrenner feels about it, though. It makes my blood boil. It really does. Let's take a look. This is from Mr. Brian Hoke. Could Anthony Volpe really break camp with the Yankees? Hal Steinbrenner? Anything's possible. Look, we're always concerned about our minor league players. Are they truly ready? Because this is not New York and this is not the regular season. So we'll just have to see. That quote right there should tell you all we need to know. He still views Mr. Anthony Volpe as a minor league player. Anthony Volpe, I honestly think truly... He could be hitting 700 and he would still start the year in AAA, which is absolutely pathetic. Now, if one of the reasons why you're not starting him up at the major league level is because you have that $21 million third baseman still on your roster, who's atrocious, by the way, and they know it. And we, as well as we do, that that was an awful move in hindsight's 2020. I understand that, but that was dreadful, dreadful. The guy's 37 now, and he was so bad offensively. Anthony Volpe right now is the better offensive player than freaking Josh Donaldson. Right now. But because of that $21 million, you really can't justify in their heads, at least, they can't justify keeping that on the bench. So, okay, Donaldson, he gets a spot. He's your third baseman. So then where do you put Volpe? Second base? We tried him a little bit at second base over this spring, yeah. But we still got Glaber Torres there, who was a good second baseman, by the way. Top 10, top 5 second baseman in Major League Baseball. But until they find a deal that they like, and they can't just dump Glaber, because that would be stupid, because the kid has value. Until they find a deal that they like, Glaber's staying. He's staying on this team. So you have Donnie at third base blocking Volpe. You have Glaber at second base blocking Volpe. So then the only spot is shortstop, and that's Peraza's right now. That's Peraza's job. He earned it, especially last year at the end of the year, 18 games, over 300 batting average, over an 800 OPS, 400 on base percentage. He played a very good shortstop in the playoffs against Houston. He's earned that spot. That's his job. So where do you put Volpe? That's the only reasoning that I could come up with as to why he won't be on the major league roster. But at that point, if you really want to shop Glaber Torres, we need an outfielder. Show him how to play left field. At this point, why the heck not? And then put Volpe at second base. Just put Volpe at second. It's that simple. The kid's playing great baseball, and he needs to be awarded. And unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen, especially from what Mr. Hal Steinbrenner says. He still views him as a minor league player. And to me, that's pathetic. Because the kid is doing 
what you wanted him to do, and that was have a big spring. The Yankees said that if he had a big spring, he could make the roster, and what is he doing? What do you call this then? There's nothing more that Mr. Volpe can do. But unfortunately, and according to Chris Kirshner and Brandon Cutie, according to them, Dominguez will most likely start the year at double A and Volpe will most likely start the year at triple A. Pathetic if that's true. Pathetic. Both of them should see promotions. Dominguez at triple A, in my opinion. Volpe at the major leagues. But we shall see what the heck happens. Thank you guys for watching. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. Thank you guys. This is Joan. Until next time, God bless.